Hey everybody, what is up? Fourth Serif here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire setup. It has been quite a while since I've done one of these, so I'm pretty excited to do that for you guys. I'm not only going to show you what I have, but try and explain why I have it, and give you guys tips on how to build and upgrade your setup as well. Now my setup probably in total costs around $3,000, I think, with about everything that I have. I'm going to show you things that I think are really important, things that you can go pretty cheap on, and just in general explain what I think makes high quality streams and YouTube videos. So make sure to stick around and make sure to follow me on Twitch as well. And you can join my Discord if you guys have a lot of questions. I try and be a lot more active on there. And so I try and give as much streaming advice as possible. So if that's what you want, Discord is a great place for that. But let's go ahead and get into the tour. My whole setup now. I originally had plans to just do this voiceover and do some nice shots of everything, but I decided that that was gonna just be way too much footage and way too much filming. And to be honest, like a lot of my stuff doesn't really look that pretty. My computer is just down underneath my desk, and so it's really hard to get light down there. And my PS4 is just sitting on some old books to keep it off of the carpet so it doesn't overheat. So nothing really looks that fancy. To be honest, this setup is made to be practical and to look more behind me than in front of me. Um, but you guys can get a quick glance at it now. I've already started to clean some stuff off, so my desk is pretty empty normally. When I stream, I have a lot more stuff on here, drinks and food, and it gets pretty messy because I do use this every day. Uh, but I'm going to go through everything now while it looks nice and uh, hopefully put some other shots on screen for you so you can see some up close and some more pretty shots of at least most of the important things in my setup. But the first thing that people probably want to know about is my computer. I might do a more in-depth review of this at some point because I haven't done one since I had this computer. So I'm just going to go through some of the important things for you guys now. The most important things I think are probably the uh, processor. It's an i7-770 and the graphics card is a GTX. 1070. It really gets the job done. Uh, I do stream and I have started recording and it seems to do both of those at the same time and playing games pretty well. I don't get to play on the ultra ultra settings while I stream and play and everything but you don't really need to anyways. The next thing is my monitor here behind me. My main one is this one off to that side uh, that has Minecraft on the screen currently and that is a 27 inch, no 30 inch LG monitor. Now I can't even remember what size it is. It's got to be 30. It's pretty big. 30 inch LG 4K monitor. We'll go with that. Um, this is a great monitor. It is not really a gaming monitor. It's kind of a gaming monitor, but uh, it doesn't have the best refresh rate and it doesn't have um, a lot of the things that you would really want. There is quite a bit of pixel inversion. So sometimes when I'm playing PUBG especially, I notice it's the worst. And I go back and I watch uh, the video I have, or even on stream, if I kind of look over to the side and see that, I'm like, oh man, that seems like it was so easy, but everything's kind of all over the place while I'm actually looking at my screen. And so I'm hoping to get a new one and use this as my second monitor for chat and then also edit videos and stuff on it. It's great for editing and it's great for watching anything because it's such a high quality monitor, but for gaming, it does lack a little bit. And so I hope to get a second one for that. The webcam I'm using is uh, this Logitech webcam. It's really good. Um, I would recommend if you don't have a light to actually get the Razer one uh, because that has a light built in and it will look a little bit nicer. My webcam's not on right now so you can't actually see, but it does have some blue lights on it. It films in pretty high quality and seems to be pretty good all around, but before I had my light that you guys can see up above it, uh, it did make me look kind of blue and discolored and, and made the coloring look a little bit odd. 
Uh, and then so let's get into the next thing, which is that light. That's just an LED light. It's definitely overkill, so even right now I don't have any type of diffusion on it. I'm still waiting to get some of that and do that. So I just have it face towards the wall until the light reflects back on me. And it seems to work pretty well. I have it at kind of full power uh, while I'm streaming. And so it, it does good enough even like that. It is pretty powerful. Um, my brother got that for me for Christmas and he kind of did one step higher than the one I actually wanted. And so it, it's more powerful than what you guys would really need or most people would really need. It just gives me a little bit more options having that extra power and brightness. Uh, but it is very good. I recommend having a light. I think having a really high quality webcam, if you stream with a webcam, is something important because people connect better with you. The, the clearer the picture, the clearer the audio, the more it's like you're actually just there hanging out with them. The higher the production value, definitely the higher chance that people who come to your stream will stay and will watch and will be invested. Next, which you might or might not be able to see behind me, is my microphone. I have a Rode uh, arm that it's on, and then my mic is a Blue Yeti, and I have a shock mount there as well. The Blue Yeti, I'm sure you guys have all heard of it and know, it's a great mic. It's a great one to start out with. I hope to upgrade at some point, and hopefully I actually have my um, thing kind of set up, I think, on the wrong side, and so it picks up quite a bit of sound and stuff for my keyboard, if you guys have seen on certain, and so I'm hoping to have a little bit better setup for it, but having the shock mount really helps. Uh, when you're moving your mouse around and stuff, all those little things don't get picked up super loud in the mic because sound waves are just vibrations and so any vibration that you're hitting on your desk is going to be really loud if your microphone is just on the normal stand. So I definitely recommend doing that. Uh, that is something that for me was super, super important that I get. Also behind me, which you can't see right now, but I'll have some clips of it up on screen, is my USB extender. I talk about this because this one is very good. And this is something that is of vital importance because computers don't have a lot of USB ports usually and this is something I needed right away. Uh, and this one's great. It has external power so it doesn't need to draw power away from your computer because a lot of them can't get powered all the time and stuff. I've had virtually no problems with this one. It works really, really well. Uh, I definitely recommend it and I think there's even a step up you can get that has a few more if you need more USB ports. But this one's been fine for me. I have a few external hard drives and things in there as well as my mouse and keyboard plugged into that. So for my mouse right now, I have a Razer mouse and a Razer keyboard. My keyboard is non-mechanical uh, because it is just a little bit quieter. If you're really looking for the best performance, mechanical is going to be better. If you're looking for a little bit quieter, non-mechanical is fine. It still works really, really well. As far as my headphones go, I'm just using some Bose in-ear headphones right now. I don't actually have um, better ones, my gaming headphones broke my Turtle Beaches, I was just taking them off and they completely snapped um, because they are plastic and crappy and so I actually don't recommend using gaming headphones anymore. They just don't have a high build quality, they're all plastic, they're all very cheap materials and the sound balance you get is usually pretty good but you can buy other headphones from an actual headphone company and they're going to be way, way better for you and so that's what I'm looking to buy here pretty soon. Uh, because using in-ears obviously after a while gets very, very uncomfortable and even painful the times I've done longer streams with these headphones. Then I have my other monitor here on the left side of me, the right side for you guys, and that is a 23 point something inch curved monitor. This is the one that my PS4 is hooked up to. I got it for about 150, maybe even a little bit less on Amazon warehouse deals. Uh, so it had a box that had been damaged, but the monitor was totally fine. And it's been great. It's great for PS4. It's only 4K. It's not really a super high-end gaming monitor, but when you're playing on a PS4, which very much limits how fast the game is playing, how good it's playing and stuff, it still really is a noticeable increase in quality from playing on a TV. Or actually, my PlayStation was hooked up to a projector before this because we have a projector in uh, our bonus room here and so having this is way way better I recommend using a monitor if you can because it just makes it a lot better I really really have enjoyed using that and then I have my Elgato hooked up to that um, because you do need something sometimes PS4s don't really work with monitors unless they have speakers in them for whatever reason the operating system for a PS4 is not very good at all and so uh, make sure you have an Elgato or something uh, that it will actually work um, my PS4 is actually down on the ground. I just have it set on some books 
so that it's not on the carpet and stays a little bit cooler. I have the mini so it does get really hot really fast. Um, but I think that is mostly everything that I use other than my chair here, which is obviously a DX racer. That's pretty much it. I don't have a, a crazy, crazy setup. Everything is built to be very practical, more than pretty. So I don't have LEDs. I don't have a lot of that stuff that one day I would like to have, but don't spend your money on that. If you're trying to just build your streaming setup, go for quality over aesthetic. Make sure that you have the arm for your microphone and a shock mount because that will greatly improve the audio quality instead of worrying about things like LEDs or the coolest looking stuff. And even, as you guys can see if you watch my stream, all my background is just a blank wall. I was hoping to get pictures and cool things and shelves and stuff, but I just realized like I would rather spend money upgrading my setup than really trying to do stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for my setup and all for you guys today. I would really appreciate it if you watch my streams, if you leave a like on this video, if you subscribe, if you enjoyed it. If you have questions, I'm more likely to go really in depth on stuff on my Discord, and I have a lot of information on there already. Uh, so if you have a lot of in-depth questions, a lot of help that you need, make sure to join the Discord. I will answer your comments as well, but Discord is a much better place uh, for me to message with people back and forth and really post along your things. YouTube can be a little weird about that sometimes, but thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys online.